Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel, I am back with another video and today I want to talk to you about family and friends and what they actually mean. Everyone has like a different opinion on what it means to be family or what it means to be a friend and there's nothing wrong with that. Having your own views is the best thing you can ask for really. Don't ever let anyone take that away from you either. Don't let anyone say like, oh well they can't be family, they're not your blood or anything like that because well it's, it's just not true is it? What family means to you is exactly how it is for you. So I want to talk a bit about what it actually means to me to be a part of my family or to be a close friend, things like that. Uh, let, let's first start with family. Like, for me, I don't believe it ends with blood. Like, and to be honest, I don't even think it begins with blood because... There's a lot of blood relatives who, well, not not a lot, but a few blood relatives who I wouldn't really consider family. Like, there's ones that I don't know. It's not their fault I don't consider them family. It's just literally, I don't know them. I'd have to get to know them for them to be family. There's ones who I don't really like. It's horrible to say, but it's just things... I don't really know what else to say on that. But yeah, when it comes to, like, n not ending with blood, I honestly mean that because I've got close friends who I would consider family, and I bet that a lot of you out there have the same. A few of my friends, I would call them my brothers, or my sisters even, because they're, they're there for, for me through the hard times, through the good times, through everything that I go through in life. And that's what family means. It's sticking together through... Thick and thin, being there for each other. I've been through, like, death in my life. I've been through de depression, like, there's there's no way around it. Yeah, I've been through things like that. And what re it really means to be family is the people who were there for me in those times. The people who helped me keep my head up, helped me break through, like, these bad points. That's what family do, and... I Hopefully, I've been able to return the favour, like, I've tried to be there for people who, like, my close friends who have been going through rough times themselves. You make memories with them as well. <laughs> you will always remember the times with these people who you consider to be your true family. It doesn't only come down to friends. Uh, it can come through other things, like, um, you could have, your mum could have a friend who, uh, say, like, or, or your dad, Say, like, they've been best friends growing up and they've remained that way throughout the years. And then when you're born and you're growing up, you don't call them your mum's best friend or anything. You call them your auntie or your uncle or something like that. So they become, like, an actual part of your family, like, integrated in. And that extends to, like, their kids. You've got new cousins. <laughs> you've, you've, you've got all of this. You've got a massive family that's grown from just a friendship. And that, that is an amazing thing. It, it's, it just shows how big family can get. Going back to it not just being blood. My dad. Uh, not my biological father, unfortunately. But to me, he is my dad. He always will be. Uh, I, I absolutely love the man. He showed me what it was to be a man. Because, like, anyone, any guy can go out, create a baby. Unless... You know, there's medical reasons why not. Don't want to go into that because, like, that's not what this video is about. But, yeah, a man can go out and create a baby. Well, a guy, whatever. But a real, real man, a, a true father, a dad, whatever, they raise that child. It doesn't matter to them as they love this child, they bring this child up, they do anything they can to protect this child, to get him through life or get her through life, you know, ipso facto sort of thing. That That's what it takes to be a dad. You know, I, I, I love the man forever. I know he loved me throughout his whole, throughout my whole life. And I never, never, ever let that be taken away from me. Uh, but because of my mum and my dad getting together, like, again, boom, another another big part of family. I've got more cousins, I've got more aunties, more uncles, another gran. And the, yeah, 
massive family. And I love all of them. Just, just, they are my family. Uh, and yeah, that that's what it means. Like, these people who care for you, these people who love you, uh, and you love them and you care for them, those are your real family. Never let anyone take it away from you. Never take it for granted. Like, you may go like, oh, you, you're not my blood and all that. If they're there for you day in, day out, no matter what you do, like, you could do something horrible, and if they still stand by you, still love you, they are your family. They care so much about you that they want to be there through everything. It's one of the best things in life to have family like that. It's always going to be there for me. Like, having more than just blood being my family, having, like, such a big family. To be honest, I'd say I'm blessed to have this. Like... There's a lot more I feel like I could do for my family. I feel like through the years I've kind of dropped the ball. But I always appreciate everything that they've done for me. And yeah, I love them all. But yeah, going on to friends and that. I don't believe you pick your friends. It's mad. You don't pick your friends. Well, you can pick like your friendly people like the ones who like you'll talk to like hi hi how are you all that lot but you don't pick your true friends they're the ones who you just click you meet yeah spend a bit of time together and you just click like one one of my closest friends first time i ever met him uh was we were doing something with college and literally we, I think we spent a good hour, hour and a half talking about wrestling. Just literally the first time we met, we just spoke nothing but about wrestling. And that was, I think we're going on seven seven years now. Jesus. Yeah. Um, from that little small conversation about wrestling, I've made one of the closest friends I could ever have. He's been there through like the hell in my life like I, I've had bad times in the past like really really low times and he's been there through it all he helped me get through it and not by go not by offering a shoulder to cry on or anything like that what he did was he treated me like he, he always would he like he'd say come and play FIFA come and watch a movie things like that just the normal stuff that he'd do day in, day out, and that's what you want through the bad times. And that shows a true friend, the person who will not go out of the way to make it seem like the pity in, pity in you, but the person who will make you feel like things are okay, make you feel like there's nothing you can't get through. Uh, I've I've had friends who have fallen out with in the past. Um, one or two of them I'd still, like... We fell out for stupid reasons, but to this day, I would still stick up for him if anything ever happened. I'd still be there for him if they ever needed me. Uh, it's a mad one, but friendships like that, no matter what you go through, you, you can't abandon them. If someone has been there for you, for you through so much, you can't abandon them no matter what's been said. And that's that's just the truth of life, like... These, some of these people have done so much for me and, and I'll never never take it for granted. I always appreciate it. Um, another one that could seem weird. <laughs> uh, one of my closest friends is actually my ex-girlfriend. A lot of people see it as mad like, oh, you, you, how can you still be friends with your ex? But here's the thing, like we left it on mutual terms. Like It wasn't a case of, oh, I hate you, I hate you. It was more of a case of we realised it weren't working, so we went our separate ways, but we were able to hold on to that friendship. And yeah, of course, at first it's weird because you you see them talking to other guys or like if, if you're a girl and it's your ex-boyfriend, you see them talking to other girls, whatever. And yeah, that, that part's weird at first, but it's all about getting over those hurdles because... Remaining friends with an ex, it may seem scary at first, it may seem weird, but this person, depending on how long you've been with them, they know so much about you. They know you in and out. So to have them there and being able to know when you're feeling down just from the little, like, little tiny, tiny signs, 
being there to help you through whatever you need. It's just something that you can't really explain. If you're able to hold on to that friendship, it's, it is a great thing. Yeah, uh, I used to be like that. I used to take a look at uh, friends who were together at one point and then now they're exes but still friends. I used to look at it like, how can you do it? Like, it, it's... How can you stay friends with someone that you used to date, you used to kiss, you used to cuddle? How can you hold that friendship in place? And it's actually a lot easier than I thought because if you care about this person that much, say you can't be in a relationship with them, say, like, it's just not for either of you, to be able to still hold on to friendship and be able to keep this person that you care for in your life, even if you don't feel the same way about them, if you still care for them, to be able to keep them in your life, it, it's it's huge and you may think me weird and do you know what? I'm not going to blame you because it... Yeah, let, let's be honest, it's odd. It's pretty odd. If you're still able to do it, don't let anyone judge you for it. And that, that goes on to another point. Your friends, like, people may look at your friends and go, why are you friends with them? Like, that guy's a complete dick or she's a complete bitch. The truth is, you you probably know them better than the other people. Like, someone could see this guy and think, oh, what a dickhead he is. And then behind closed doors, he's, like, the kindest person in the world. Like, donates to charity. Uh, adopts, like... I don't know, Syrian tigers or something. You know, like, he, this, he, she, whatever, they could be the best person in the world, but the people from the outside don't get to see it. But if you do see it and you choose to be friends with them, don't let anyone take that away from you. You can pick your friends, kind of. But as, I've, as I said earlier, a lot of the time, like, I, I don't think you pick your friends. I think you just click together and that's what makes your friendship. That's what it's all about. don't know what else to say on that point. Really, it's friends and family. They are what you make them, not what anyone else makes them. And that's what it all comes down to at the end of the day. It's kind of your control, but through feelings and through clicking and things like that, it's a little bit out of your control. But don't let anyone judge you for the company you keep. That's all I can really say. And always, always keep close to you, the people who care. Don't push them away. Whatever is going on, do not push away the people who care for you. Because these are the people who will be there for you your whole life. These are the people who will always show love when others when others doubt you, when others push you away, when others treat you like crap, these people will stand up tall for you. They'll always be there. A bit of a weird ramble, uh, I know, but <coughs> uh, hopefully I could make a good point there. Um, I'm just trying to make the point of love, basically. The people who love you, the people you love, that's what matters in this world. Forget the money, forget all that. Like, obviously money matters and, like, homes matter and all that. But the true the true key to happiness is those people around you, the company you keep. That's what it all comes down to. To, to ba basically, to wrap up, I love people who... I love, like, my family that I consider family that are my blood. I love the people I consider who family who aren't my blood, I love my closest friends, just show true love, <laughs> sounds soppy, yeah, it sounds soppy as hell, like, a big thing that comes with me doing this YouTube thing and that is to spread a bit of positivity, make people smile, hopefully, maybe even get a little laugh when I do, like, gaming videos or whatever, or I do searching online for things, or even when I do these little rants, it's just all about spreading a bit of positivity and love, so, yeah. Gonna wrap up the video, but gonna go a little bit off topic here. Uh, tomorrow is the KSI versus Joe Welly fight. 
and I am so looking forward to it. Um, it, it start. I think it starts at six o'clock. Uh, I'll be watching it on YouTube. Unfortunately, I couldn't. I didn't get a ticket to go. KSI all the way. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a big fan of the side man. What can I say? I want KSI to smash it, and yeah. I hope. <laughs> I just hope it's a great event. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, um, that is where I'm actually going to end the video. Um, I hope you did enjoy, and I hope I made my message clear. I hope it didn't just sound like a weird, weird guy rambling on for a while. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, if you did like the video, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Actually, comment down below what family means to you and what friendship means to you, because that's the main point of it all. It's what it means to you, and I know it means so much to different people. So yeah, comment that down below. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date with whenever I upload a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if I've got something to say, uh, some t like I, I may pop up other days during the week. But yeah, my main ones are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining me. It's great to great to do all of this and i shall see you in the next one